All right, I uh, wanted to tie you guys a jig, and uh, I keep hearing people say that they go to Hobby Lobby and get uh, material, which is fine. You can get <clears throat> you can go pick up feathers out of the park, um, goose feathers and stuff, and they just wash them in Dawn soap. If you wash them in Dawn soap, it kills any of the bugs on there. Uh, Dawn dries the oil out on their body and lets the bugs not have moisture. Um, the uh, If you go to a park and you pick up feathers, like I said, just wash them good. Let them dry. You can use them. But what I wanted to show you today is if you're going to go to Hobby Lobby or a craft place or like... This is a bolo that I got from the thrift store here in town. So, just a, a mixed match of feathers. And, uh, well, to the credit, my boys got it. But, bolo feathers are usually to where they're stripped down the middle and only fur on one side or feather on one side. But, I wanted to show you that you can still take this wonky feather and make you a jig. So... Grab a little head here. If I can get one and not twelve. Alright. <clears throat> so, there's your jig head. Now, <clears throat> like I always say, I trim that point off, that bait keeper. But, you're going to take your thread and you're going to wrap, get that started. Now, to do this feather, if you look, all of that's about the same height. And instead of going through here and just pinching off a little piece at a time, what you could do with these is, see that? That's long enough. It's going to be a kind of a short tail, but... You can even just stack it on there like that. But what I'm going to do with it, just to show you, is I'm going to do like what I do with my normal jigs. You're going to come in here and I'll cut a piece. And then tie a piece. But you're only going to go back to where the quill of the feather is just at the turn of the hook. Bam, like that. See that? That's a start. Then you put another one right next to that one. And then trim that under quill about the same length. Okay. Now there's two. That's more than enough. You don't need to keep packing it on there. But then you hold that down. And you go like that. And then work your line, feather or your thread back up. Now. That's a kind of a scraggly tail. And that's what you'll get. Sometimes with that. Those feathers from, you know, uh, a bolo or a boat. Yeah, a boa. I keep saying bolo, sorry. But a boa just has this kind of feather. See, now like that one's got some really long on there. So, and then if you just want to get a little hinky with it sometimes, you can take a little tuft of blue. And just rip that off of there and then pinch it down and see that most of the hairs are the right length then you just take and lay that up over your hook and go like that and now you got a bicolored bait see now I use some scraggly feathers but when you piece it together like that it turns out pretty good then, go back with this piece of pink that I had set in here, or you could go purple, or matter of fact, you know what? Here's a piece of purple chenille. Now, this is a lot thinner chenille, so, oh, got some trash on there. So, you might have to wrap it a little bit more. But when you wrap it, just keep her 
tight and together. And you ain't got to like really pull on the thread. I mean on the chenille. Get it up there around that head and see how it's like right there by the head. Then you just give her a little snug at the last. Then you can finish her off. So, but there is a jig tied from thrift store material, except for this little piece of purple and the jig head, of course. But uh, that piece of purple chenille would have probably been thrown away if uh, it got on the floor. And my, my, like I said in my last video, my stuff just kind of sets on my. I didn't like the way that felt. Sometimes if you didn't like the way it felt and it didn't pull in right, you can go and whip it twice and just kind of a overlock. But there you guys go. There's a little thrift store jig tail or a thrift store tail on a jig. So thanks for watching, guys. We're going to keep try trying to tie jigs out of found material just so you guys will have a better understanding of how I do tie some jigs with found material um go check out some of my past videos uh that i posted last year i did do some flies on you know materials that are found so thanks for watching guys go like and subscribe see you later